Hello, in this video I want to talk to you about using your electric toothbrush when travelling internationally or abroad, however you want to phrase it. Now in this video I'm referring specifically to electric toothbrushes that have a built-in user rechargeable battery where you normally sit it on a charging stand and connect it to mains electricity to replenish the battery. Now the reality of the situation is most electric toothbrushes can be used internationally but there's a few things that you need to be aware of when you're actually travelling and taking your toothbrush or your charging stand with you. Now it can get quite complicated depending on your particular toothbrush, where you're located, so your home country, and where you're travelling to. And there's a full written article that accompanies this video which goes into a lot more detail and explains things nice and clearly for you about what you need and what you need to be aware of. But here are a few of the quick things that you need to consider when travelling with your electric toothbrush. So the big issue with taking your toothbrush and charging stand with you is the voltages differ around the world as do the power adapters used around the world and in different countries. And it depends on the country, their voltage and power outlets as to what the conditions and rule set are for you and using your electric toothbrush there. Now a quick reference check is by looking at the base of your charging stand that came with your toothbrush. Usually this provides you with some clear information to help guide you in the right direction. So I'm looking at this primarily from a UK standpoint at the moment. If it has printed on the charging stand 100 to 240 volts, that means you will not need a voltage adapter and you can use that charging stand in any country of the world. You may, however, need a plug adapter. So whilst you won't need a voltage adapter, you may need a plug adapter to convert the socket or the power plug on your charging stand to be the appropriate one for the country that you're travelling to. So in the UK, for example, we have two pin plugs, but if I was travelling to the US, I'd need to have an adapter to change that to a two pin US plug as opposed to the two pin UK plug. If it's got printed on the base of the charging stand 220 to 240 volts, you're unlikely to be able to actually use that across the world. You're going to need a voltage converter. If it's got 220 to 240, you're going to be able to use that in most European countries, but there's going to be a lot of international countries such as the US and Canada where you will need that voltage converter. You may also need a plug adapter depending on the country that you're travelling to. So in the case of a UK electric toothbrush that supports only 220 to 240 volts, I would need a voltage adapter to allow me to use it on the lower voltage US power supply and I'd also need a plug adapter to convert the two pin plug to the two pin US plug uh, that is found in US power circuits. If on the base of your charging stand it says it supports 110 volts or 60 cycles, then that charging stand is designed primarily for countries like the USA and Canada. And that would mean that if you're travelling to countries within Europe, you will need a voltage adapter because in Europe, they use a higher voltage than in US or Canada as an example. So you'll need a voltage adapter if your charging stand supports 110 volts and you will also likely need a plug adapter subject to the country that you're travelling to. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a guide and information as to what you may need to do when travelling with your electric toothbrush. If you click the link in the description, there's an article that goes into a lot more detail and it explains it for you. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below this video or on that article linked below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for watching.